Yeah, g'day, Bush Camping Tools here. Well, I've got with me Miguel Nito's uh, Viking model. And this is from Miguel Nito SL in Spain. It's a fully made in Spain blade. You can see it's a hollow ground here. And it's a drop point design hollow ground. It's a full tang handle here. Full tang Makata scales. Uh, very aggressive grip on this Makata here. You're not going to lose that. You've got a lanyard hole down here and uh, the butt just protrudes a little bit past the scales. It's a good grippy handle. It's a little tough on the hands with the quite aggressive grip on here. In there like that. Without, I haven't got gloves on. Um, but the other thing is, well, it's grippy, you know. So you can't sort of, sometimes it's a bit hard to have both. It's a small knife too. And this is, to be fair, this is really hard wood. I mean, look at this. I mean, this is really hard if we can into this maybe I can even cut this off with such a small knife we had to let's have a look can't get much harder wood than this Australian eucalyptus so we're talking about a small drop point here oh <laughs> look at that Very sharp. This is fibrous, fibrous palm frond, and it's it's sharp. Absolutely, it deals with it, no problems. It's a bit of tough eucalyptus wood. Now, one thing I've got to point out, which is good when I'm doing this, I'm putting a lot of pressure on the knife. When you've got a butt end on a knife like that, that's okay, because that's not going to be digging too much. It's not too aggressive in the palm of my hand. Okay, so that's a good, good thing to have there when you're doing this. Otherwise, it can make it a bit uncomfortable or you've got to be wearing gloves. And the question is, can this carve out a little hole in here which is good for a, a, a stick of fired bow drill in yes is it still sharp after eucalyptus wood yes that's nail biting sharp okay you've got an aggressive uh, bit of jimping here it's comfortable but it's aggressive because it's got a, an acute angles in there where it's been milled out ground up and that's easy enough to strike a steel on in this area there
see if there's any grubs in here. Alright, so now I'm going to try a bit of cross batoni. Normally I probably wouldn't do this. A rock here, so we have to be careful to try and get rid of this broken end. I want this bit of the wood down here. And you might be asking, well, why am I not busting this small stick by hand? And that's because this, in this case, this eucalyptus stuff is really strong. So, yeah, sure, you can wedge it between a fork and a tree, a couple of rocks. But if you've got really hard wood and there's no fork in a tree, and there's no rocks or something to gain leverage, and you want a nice end on it, you may have to do something like this if you haven't got a saw. Okay. Okay, it's not really supported there. Well might snap it okay yep we go there we go so that's very 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 hard wood okay Miguel Nito's <clears throat> Viking, great little drop point, handles cutting through chicken, in general camping tasks, no problems. So there you have it, Miguel Nito's Viking model. Just to recap, hollow ground, drop point, full tang. It's got a real weighty feel to it. Very aggressive grip on the handles. You can see there's no bolts here. This is it's been riveted. This is permanently fixed on handle. It's not going to come off. Um, not unless you break it, that is. And I can't see you breaking this knife. 
Uh, it comes in various different colors of Makata. On there, you can strike a steel on this fairly aggressive jimping. Came really sharp. Um, AN58 steel, certainly handles all right the tough Australian eucalyptus wood. See me do a few things there with the knife. And you can also prepare food with it, of course, too, as you've seen. So, um, what can I say? It comes at a good price point. The Nito Viking. Thanks very much for watching. Bush Camping Tools here.